is uh, is the Easter Monday on the evening. Um, the sun's just setting here in Cheddar Gorge. Uh, I just want to follow on from the video I made earlier this morning, um, where I mentioned the Grand Solar Minimum. You see, there are different planetary alignments, very strange ones coming up, ones that we've never actually, uh, we haven't got clear records of. Um, as I, uh, part of going in Grand Solar Minimums the f and the fact that the uh, it, energy exchange from the sun changes and the earth becomes a bit more sort of energetic giving out. So, you know, like upwards lightning strikes from the earth will, will become a more common thing, whereas at the moment they're quite rare. It'll be, it'll be things like that. But also people's moods and um, behavior will shift dramatically, um, which will be, you know, something we don't know how, it, how it's going to affect any of us really. But we can already see very people acting very strange all around us, um, maybe flying off the rails on things, and and uh, their behavior is becoming very erratic and, uh, you know, self sort of sabotage in a way. Um, but, um, you know, part of this grand solar minimum will be that we'll, we'll go into a cooler period. You know, it won't, it won't last forever, but it will, it will go on for, you know, at least a decade. Um, and when all these changes in the planetary alignments and, and, and the solar activity and everything else changes, there's always been, like I was saying this morning, there's all, uh, whether it be the um, Egyptian Empire or the, uh, you know, or, or the Roman Empire, they've all sort of fallen at that stage when the, when a grand solar minimums come along, and it gets you to thinking that you know, you know, climate change sort of thing, and it's all a bit of a sort of, you can tell it's a hoax. It's just a natural cycle of the planet, and they try to blame it on human beings because that leads ultimately to control. Um, and taxation, you know, the answer to everything is we need to tax this more because we've decided that this is what's making the planet go warmer or whatever. And um, this is like the, uh, the, the the perfect storm, excuse the pun, what's coming along at the moment because the, the, the Earth's going to get cooler naturally and drastically cooler, um, especially over the next few years. And, of course, this crisis that we're all being locked down under um, we'll, <laughs> you'll start seeing that, that, that we're entering a phase of global cooling and not warming, even though it's been tried to be, you know, you know what mainstream media is like, trying to convince you that the, the, the globe is warming, it's warming, you know, and when you sort of ask for this science, it's very sketchy. It's all like, well, it's warmed up by sort of a quarter of a degrees or half a degrees over the last how many years, and like, like any other cycle it would do, but it's all put forward in the media constantly and anybody who supports the um the the, the what shall i say the uh the ideal of global warming will get all the funding they want and anybody who goes against it like the likes of david bellamy and people like that um they will be struck from the record and you'll never hear them again um david bellamy by the way was uh was a um he, he was like the david attenborough of the uk um always on tv when i was younger very very popular and he was just he, he decided to become a climate change denier as they like to say <laughs> now uh, the funny wording that they use you know but um yeah of course um this this part of this now will when the globe actually naturally cools it, it of course these people in positions of power will be able to say see what's happened as soon as we stopped all flying about and using our stuff because you know it's changed for good this isn't a temporary change this is a this is a long-term thing this this is it, the world you used to know is um totally gone and, and i think that's a good thing i don't think it was good to any of us really um and uh, that that world's gone and when a new, new world comes along it will be um a lot different and of course this this natural global cooling will be used to be able to say um Look what's happened. Now all us nasty humans have stopped doing this and doing that. I'm not saying we're squeaky clean on what we do. And I'm not saying we can't improve. Of course we can. We can always improve on what we what we do. But, um, you know, it's 
we, we can't let this natural cycle be used to enslave the entire human race. Um, you know, it's it's not right. But um, yeah, we're going into a new phase. No one really knows what's going to happen. No, no, um, no empire has ever, or dynasty has ever survived this cycle. And that's why you can see such control coming out. And that should give you hope, really. Because remember that when your freedom of speech is taken away, it's because what you've got to say is, is, is enough on its own to destroy a whole... It, the, the truth you've got to say is enough to destroy the whole paradigm, the, the, whole, the whole image that um, these people who take away your freedom of speech are trying to, to suppress... You know, so what you've got to say is very, very important at that time when you, you know, more important during a time when your freedom of speech is taken away than when you're just allowed to say whatever you want. So you need to speak like I am now and you make yourself a sort of a target by everybody and everything and you get on lists and, and whatever else they've got going on in the background. But see, that's a positive thing. You know, it's a good thing that, um, that you see so many restrictions because we've gone past the point where it can be hidden and things are starting to come out in the open and people you never thought would um, ever be on board with what you've got to say or or anything suddenly you realize that they're saying hang on a minute something's really wrong here um, this this is this is not right we shouldn't we shouldn't destroy a whole global economy which was dead anyway by the way it died uh, many many years ago um, but we shouldn't destroy a whole global de economy and so say in the best interests of you know the lives of humans <laughs> when uh, really what we're doing is is creating a long-term human life loss as a result on the back end of all this which will be covered up in the same way as everything else is covered up you know um yeah so just a further further fault really on the um on the grand solar minimum and uh how how that you know imagine these lightning strikes going up and now you could you'll start looking at maybe stone structures that are built all around the world from dolmens to um, pyramids um, are they a way of expelling safely expelling the energy that the earth's got up into the atmosphere are they um, protection were they were they built in fields you know these stones shelters were built in fields were they protection for um, humans who were out on working their land or growing vegetables, whatever they may have been doing, you know, hundreds or thousands of years ago. Anyway, I'll leave it there and leave you with that thought. And um, I've got plenty to say on this subject. I could go on forever, but I really don't want to. Um, I'd rather just sort of say things as they come to me. I never know what the content of my videos are going to be until I actually start them. Um, that may seem strange, but sometimes I start speaking and I think, that's what I'll do it on and I have to stop the video quickly and just press start again because I don't actually know until I speak and I think that's the best way um, to do anything because it's a bit more real and off the cuff then and not sort of over organized or uh, sometimes you can think on things and it spoils them they're best just being said so uh, yeah I'll leave you with that thought and a different way of thinking you know empower yourself with the knowledge that, that anybody trying to take away your freedom fears you um, they fear what you can do if you, you're given the freedom they're trying to take away. Um, and that should make you feel a lot better about your power and your, uh, you know, what you can do. Anyway, speak to you next time. Bye.